Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, this is your double glazed and left out to cool Oxhorn, and in order to complete the quest Best Left Forgotten, you have to retrieve Dima's memories from the Nucleus Command Center. This is effectively a puzzle minigame in Far Harbor. There are five puzzles in this quest. The goal of each is to clear a path for data bugs to get from one side of the map to the other and back again. The first puzzle basically acts as a tutorial. You only have to build one decoder block to point the data stream in the correct position. Fill in the gaps in the floor with excess blocks, set up your defenses at both relay points, and you're good to go. I like to set up three turrets at the yellow relay and two at the blue one. The second puzzle teaches you how to use the green conduits. Hop down until you find the block that's blocking the data stream and simply remove it. That allows it to pass to the conduit and get redirected into a new direction. Next, you have to divert the data stream through a hole in the wall. Take your decoder relay and prop it up on top of the stack of boxes. Make sure you point the green pointy tip towards the hole that you're trying to divert the data stream through. That will knock down the red wall. Follow the path until you get to the next red wall. Around the corner, you'll find another decoder relay. Create another stack of boxes in the path of the relay beam Place the decoder relay and point it towards the red wall. Then just set up some defenses and patch up the floor so that your little data bugs can get on through to their destination. Bingo, bango, bongo! You got this one in the bag. The third relay is a little bit more tricky. This is where things start to get a little challenging. Start by jumping up on top of the alcove above the first red wall. This is where you'll find the first decoder relay and some extra blocks to store. Then jump down and build a stack of blocks right in the path of the decoder beam. Place the relay at the top and point it at the receiver in the first red wall. This gives you access to the second decoder relay and some more blocks to build with. Next, simply move the stack that you made over two spaces to activate the green conduit. That sends the beam shooting up over your head and it destroys the second red wall. Next, hop up on top to the second level and follow the green relay beam. Build a block stack in the path of the beam directly in line of sight of the receptacle in the third red wall. It's hard to eyeball these things. You may need to move your stack back and forth a bit until you get it just right. Once you do, it destroys the third red wall, meaning that all you gotta do is repair the floor so that your little data bugs can find their way to the goal. Now, once you complete this puzzle, you can stop here. You've finished all of the puzzles necessary to complete the major quest. You can go back and talk to Dima and finish all those side quests. If you go on to puzzle number four, you unlock additional dialogue options with Nick Valentine. And if you go on to puzzle number five, the final and hardest puzzle, you actually unlock the locations of some marine armor spread around Far Harbor. This is some of the best armor in the game, rivaled only by Nuka World Raider armor. So it's up to you. You can end here or you can push forward. If you decide to push forward, you champion you. Stick with me. I'll show you how to finish those last two puzzles. Puzzle four is a little bit more tricky than puzzle three. You see the data beam coming down from the ceiling. You need to build scaffolding alongside the data stream and then snap the decoder relay to the side of the scaffolding, then point it at the receiver in the red wall to destroy it. This gives you access to more blocks to build with and the second decoder block. To tackle the second red wall, take the decoder block and flip it around to point the data stream in the other direction. Then build some more scaffolding along the floor and up, and use the second decoder block to point towards the receiver in the red wall. You'll then need to lower your original stack with the first decoder block down one in order to match the level of the receiver in the second red wall. In this way, you'll divert it to the side and then forward to knock down red wall number two. 
Once the wall is down, deconstruct your scaffolding and store all of your blocks in your decoder relays because you need to open up the gap in the floor to allow the data stream to pass through. Hop on down to the bottom and build some scaffolding to the side of the data stream so that you can build a decoder block right in the middle of its path. Point it back out towards the third red wall. Then fill the gap in the floor directly in front of the receiver in the conduit and then stack the second decoder block on top of it and point it at the receiver. This activates the conduit and destroys the third red wall. Then build your defenses like usual and patch the floor like usual and you're done. Your data bugs can go on their merry way and you now have access to more of Nick Valentine's story. And now for puzzle number five. I'm not too proud to admit that this is a pretty tricky one and it took me a good amount of time to figure it out. The goal of this one is to collect all of the decoder relays so that you can make the final daisy chain of events to unlock the last red door. You're also going to want to store as many blocks as you can find because you're going to need a whole lot of blocks to get this to work. First, look across the way to the pyramid in the middle of the map. You see that the green beam is coming from the ceiling down through the middle of the pyramid. Build a path across the gap until you get to the pyramid and then start storing the blocks you find in the pyramid to open up the interior. You're going to be passing all sorts of beams through the little windows of this pyramid, so store every block that you find. On the inside of the pyramid, make a stack of boxes from the floor and at the top of the stack, Place a decoder relay block that matches up with the removable box to the left. Then store that box in your workshop to open up the window, allowing the beam to destroy the first red wall. Then build a bridge across to the island that the red wall was blocking and get the second decoder relay block. This next step is optional, but if you build a bridge to the island floating to the right of the blue entrance, you'll find an island filled with a whole bunch of blocks that you can store. Grab as many as you can and store these for later, you're going to need them. Next, to the right of the entrance platform, you're going to see another island. Build a bridge across the way to pick up a decoder relay block that's just sitting there. You're going to need that for later. You also need to build this bridge so that you can access the floating upside down pyramid in the next step. To the right of the regular pyramid is the floating upside down pyramid. On the inside you find a bunch of blocks blocking up holes in the pyramid. Remove as many as you can. You find the next decoder relay sitting on a platform on top of the second red wall. Simply build a bridge across from the upside down pyramid to this platform so that you can get the third decoder relay. Then store those blocks as you head back to the upside down pyramid. Back inside the upside down pyramid, our plan is to eventually send the data beam to the inside of this pyramid. You want to place a decoder relay here that points back to the second red wall. Build some scaffolding in the path of the window from the pyramid to the upside down pyramid and attach a decoder to the side of that block and face it towards the window that leads to the second red wall. Then go back over to the pyramid and hop to the top of it. On top of the pyramid, Build some scaffolding to the side of the green beam. Then attach a decoder relay to the scaffolding and point it towards the upside down pyramid where you have your other decoder relay. If you match it up correctly, you should knock down the second red wall, allowing you to come over and get the next decoder relay block. Once done, be sure to remember and go back and store the decoder relays you're no longer using so you don't lose track of them. Across the way from the pyramid is something that looks like a sphere. We'll call it the sphere for now. There are some gaps in the sphere. We need to send the green beam that way so that we can unlock the next red wall. On the inside of the pyramid, build a block stack and at the top place a decoder relay that matches up with the window in the pyramid that aligns with the window in the sphere. Double check to make sure that you're sending the beam in the right direction. Now the center of the sphere is blocked by a block that you can't move. So you need to use three different decoder relays to daisy chain the green beam in the way you need it to go. You need to build the decoder relays as such so that the beam wraps around the blocks that are blocking the middle of the sphere. 
For the final block, attach it to the scaffolding and then point it towards the red wall, making sure to line it up with the receiver in the red wall. That knocks it down, allowing you to build a bridge out to the floating island where you will find the next decoder relay. Now that you have the decoder block, disassemble what you've built in the interior of the sphere. You now have all the decoder relays, which means all we got to do is point the data beam back at the final red wall. Now if you go to the pyramid in the center of the map and simply turn the decoder relay around, it sends the beam in the right direction, but it points it too high we need to find a way to wrap the beam around the room back in such a position so that it hits the right target. To do so, go back to the pyramid and build a three block tall tower and on top of it, place a decoder relay pointing towards the sphere. Make sure you turn the relay in the center of the pyramid to point towards this new tower stack. Then go back to the sphere and build a platform that matches the tower from the pyramid. Point the relay to meet the data stream and pass it through the sphere. That activates the green conduit. Head on over to the upside down pyramid and build a stairway down to the green conduit. From there you need to build scaffolding and attach a relay that sends the data stream through the upside down pyramid all the way to the end of the room. Then build a stack of boxes two boxes tall and on top place another decoder relay that passes the beam towards the entrance. Finally build the same thing by the entrance only point the decoder relay towards the receiver in the final red wall. That deconstructs the red wall, allowing you to patch up the floor and complete the puzzle. Here's one more look at the final configuration to solve this puzzle. And there you go, the marine armor is now in your world and you can now go out and find it if you want it. Well ladies and gentlemen, I hope this video was useful. I've read many comments from viewers complaining about this little mini game, as if it was unnecessary or annoying, but in my opinion I actually enjoyed it. But you know what, there's no shame in seeking help if you just get stuck. Thanks for watching everybody! Please subscribe for more Fallout 4 and Far Harbor content. Your subscriptions keep this channel alive and allow me to do this full time. Please subscribe for more content. I release a new video every day and thank you all so very much for watching.